and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our soul, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All the Holy Trinity have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Ask for pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who are trespassing against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down for God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down for Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down for the very Christ our King and our God. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the abundant mercy is brought out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgression, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and then that which is evil in thy sight, for that thou art just justified in thy sentence, and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou hast desired truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in thy secret heart. Burn me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness, that the bones which are broken rejoice. Hide away with thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Ask me not away from my presence, and take not thy holy spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then will I preach to transgressors thy ways, and the sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from blood judgment, for God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. For full burnt offerings, that shall not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, that thou not despise. Be good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then thou mightest delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings, and bold burnt offerings, in bold to be offered upon thee also. Oh, God, is Yes, 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages and ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, All Holy Trinity have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages and ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And thou didst descend unto death, O life immortal. Then thou didst destroy Hades with the brilliance of thy divinity. And when thou didst raise the dead from beneath the earth, all the powers of heaven 
servant did cry aloud unto thee. O Christ, thou giver of life, glory to thee, O our God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray that he will keep this holy church in this city and countryside from wrath, famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, the sword, foreign invasion, civil war, and sudden death, that our good God who loveth mankind will be gracious, favorable, and conciliatory, and will turn away and dispel all the wrath stirred up against us in all sickness, and may deliver us from all his righteous chastisement which impendeth against us, and have mercy on us. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and of those who are far off upon the sea. And be gracious, be gracious, O Master, upon our sins, and have mercy on us. For Thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind. And unto Thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Glory to Thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to Thee. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercession of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, of the glorious prophet Elias, patron of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save
Father, would you bring the stand over here? And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Mark. Let us attend. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. And they came to the tomb at the rising of the sun, and they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a long white robe. And they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. And they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had come upon them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid.
Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. God arise and let his enemies be scattered and let them that hate him flee from before his face. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. So let sinners perish at the presence of God, and let the righteous be glad. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the dead, traveling down death by death, and those in the tomb be so both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter their end, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father and Patriarch John, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our President, civil authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God. By thy grace, calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. Unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates. And the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates. And the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory.
question here, please. Okay. Our 
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious, Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. Thou art our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen. al Messiah come. Christos tensi you. Christos is aferstanden. Christos is aferstanden. Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. Christos Anviat. Christos was Cresce. Christos has resuscitado. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. himself for all, a Pascha of purification. And as the glorious Son of Righteousness, he has shone upon us again from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead. David, the forefather of our divine Lord, laughed and symbolical ark of the covenant. Let us also, the holy people of God, beholding the fulfillment of the symbols, be divinely glad, for Christ has risen as Almighty. Christ, the Son of Christ. 
righteousness, who caused his life to come for all. Christ is risen from the dead. They who were held in chains in hell, he held by a boundless compassion of Christ. They hastened to the light with joyful feet, exalting the eternal Father. Christ is risen from the dead. Bearing my head of thee, Christ, who comes forth from the tomb like a bridegroom, and with the rays of joy for me celebrating angels, let us celebrate the redeeming gospel of God. Descend of Christ to the depths of the earth, thou didst break the everlasting bars which had held death's captives, and by coming up from the well on the third day, thou didst arise from the grave, Christ is risen from the dead. Having kept the seals intact, thou didst rise from the grave, O Christ, who did not violate the virgin's womb by thy birth, and thou hast opened to us the gates of paradise. Christ is risen from the dead. O my Savior, while as God thou didst voluntarily Offer thyself to the Father as an unslain and living sacrifice. Thou didst raise up with thyself the whole race of Adam when thou didst rise from the grave. Praise is from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing life. Jesus has been risen from the grave, as he foretold, hath granted us life everlasting. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance her all, holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious, Lady the Theotokos. Ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. For thou art the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Al Messiah come. Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. Christos Aenviat. Christos Voskresi. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen.
Before the dawn, the barbarian women sought as those who seek the day of their son, who was before the sun yet had descended to the grave. And they cried to each other, O oh, friends, come let us anoint with spices his life bearing yet buried body. The flesh, the flesh which raised fallen Adam and now lies in the tomb. Let us assemble and, like the Magi, let us hasten and let us worship. Let us bring myrrh as a gift to him who is wrapped now, not in swaddling clothes, but in a winding sheet. Let us lament and cry. Arise, O Master, and bestow resurrection on the fallen. Arise, O Master, and bestow resurrection on the fallen. On this, the holy and great Sunday of Pascha, we celebrate the life bringing resurrection of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ, going down alone to the struggle with Hades, came forth again and brought with him plenteous spoils of victory. To him be glory and dominion of the ages of ages. Amen. That we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, and let's worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross we adore, O Christ, in thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee, we call upon thy name. Come, O ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. Who loathes with the cross, whose joys come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us, he hath destroyed death by death. Jesus, having risen from the tomb as he foretold, granting us eternal life and great mercy, the kingdom of God, kingdom of God. Sing the preeminent in the furnace became incarnate. And suffered as a mortal man through his sufferings. He clothed his mortal in the robe of immortality. He alone is blessed and most glorious. The God of our fathers. Christ is risen from the dead. joyfully adored as the living God. And they told thy disciples, O Christ, the glad tidings of the mystical Pascha. Christ is risen from the dead. We celebrate the death of death and the destruction of hell. The beginning of eternal life And leaping for joy we celebrate the cause The only blessed and most glorious God of our fathers Christ, Christ is risen from the dead For a truly holy and supreme feast Is the saving night radiant with light the harbinger of the bright day of resurrection, on which the eternal light shone bodily from the grave upon all. This is the chosen and holy day, for such gravity and Lord of days. The peace of peace, holy day of holy days, on this day we bless Christ forevermore. Christ is risen from the dead. Come, let us partake of the fruits of a new vine of divine joy. On this 
suspicious day of the resurrection and kingdom of Christ, praising him as God forever. Christ is risen from the dead. Cast thine eyes about thee, O Zion, and behold, for lo, thy children have assembled unto thee from the west and from the north and from the south and from the east as divinely radiant luminaries blessing christ unto the ages christ Christ is is risen from the dead father almighty the word and the spirit one in nature in three persons united transcending essence supremely divine in thee we have been baptized and thee will bless us throughout all ages praise and worship the lord this is the chosen and holy day First of Sabbath, King and Lord of Days, the Feast of Peace, Holy Day of Holy Days, of this day we bless Christ forevermore. The Theotokos, the Mother of Light, Lord and Magnify in Song.
Now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Almasia kam. Christos agesit Christe agres agesit ga. Christos anesti. Christos anesti. Christos a enviat. Christos vos crescit. Christo ha resuscitado. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Arise from the dead, 
Make our life peaceful, O oh Lord, since Thou alone art omnipotent. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance, praise Him with stringed instruments and organ. Thou who didst despoil Hades and its praise of man by Thy resurrection, O oh Christ, he must worthy to Him and glorify Thee with purity of heart. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals, praise Him upon the high sounding cymbals, let everything that hath breath, breath, praise the Lord. Glorifying Thy God befitting condescension, we praise Thee, O Christ, for Thou wast born of a virgin, and yet Thou wast inseparable from the Father. Thou didst suffer as man, and didst endure the cross willingly, and as one coming forth from the bridal chamber. Thou didst rise from the grave, that thou mightest save the world. O Lord, glory to thee.
If anyone is devout and a lover of God, let him enjoy this beautiful and radiant festival. If anyone is a wise servant, let him rejoicing enter into the joy of his Lord. If anyone has wearied himself in fasting, let him now receive his recompense. If anyone has labored from the first hour, let him today receive his just reward. If anyone has come at the third hour with thanksgiving, let him keep the feast. If anyone has arrived at the sixth hour, let him have no misgivings, for he shall suffer no loss. If anyone has delayed until the ninth hour, let him draw near without hesitation. If anyone has arrived at the eleventh hour, let him not fear on account of his delay. For the Master is gracious and receives the last, even as the first. He gives rest to him that comes at the eleventh hour, just as to him who has labored from the first. He has mercy upon the last and cares for the first. To the one he gives and to the other he is gracious. He both honors the work and praises the intention. Enter all of you, therefore, into the joy of our Lord, and whether first or last, receive your reward. O rich and poor, one with another, dance for joy. O you ascetics and you negligent, celebrate the day. You that have fasted and you that have disregarded the fast, rejoice today. The table is rich laden. Feast royally, all of you. The calf is fatted. Let no one go forth hungry. Let us all partake of the feast of faith. Let all receive the riches of goodness. Let no one lament his poverty, for the universal kingdom has been revealed. Let no one mourn his transgressions, for pardon has gone from the grave. Let no one fear death, for the Savior's death has set us free. He that was taken by death has annihilated it. He descended into Hades and took Hades captive. He embittered it when it tasted his flesh. And anticipating this, Isaiah exclaimed, Hades was embittered when it encountered thee in the lower regions. It was embittered, for it was abolished. It was embittered, for it was mocked. It was embittered, for it was purged. It was embittered, for it was despoiled. It was embittered, for it was bound in chains. It took a body and face to face met God. It took earth and encountered heaven. It took what it saw, but crumbled before what it had not seen. O death, where is thy sting? O Hades, where is thy victory? Christ is risen and you are overthrown. Christ is risen and the demons are fallen. Christ is risen and the angels rejoice. Christ is risen and life reigns. 
Christ is risen and not one dead remains in the tomb. For Christ, being raised from the dead, has become the first fruits of them that slept. To him be glory and might unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb, bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. This is not always the end of the grave of the age. Amen. Let's know where it is with every other word. We're going to be always now devoted in the age of the age. Amen. Bless Master, blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Christos Anesti Ekron Thanato Thanato Patisas Ketisentis Nimasi Zoin Carisamenos. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. And let them that hate him flee from before his face. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish as wax melts before the fire. So let sinners perish at the presence of God, and let the righteous be glad. from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. This is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christos Anesti Ek Nekron Sanato Sanaton Patisas
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter their end, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father and Patriarch John, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, its president, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all, holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotoko, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all, holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotoko, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives 
unto Christ our God. For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance her all, holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos. And ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. Amen. Thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Christ, 
that is the Christ of the Christ of the In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was nothing any, not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. 
There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he was to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own, and his own received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, This is he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, and for he was before me. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. These people either proclaim us the Holy Gospel. Al Messiah come. I can come. Christos anesti. Christos anesti. Christos enviat. Christos vos crece. Christe against God. Christo ha resuscitado. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. On the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles in that upper room in the form of fiery tongues, Peter, standing with the eleven, preached his first sermon. That was the first time that the gospel was openly proclaimed by the apostles. Always before, the Lord was the teacher. And what did Peter preach? Was it Jesus as the greatest moral teacher of all times? Well, he was, but that was not Peter's message. Was it the, the love that God has for the whole world? Well, he loves the world. But again, that was not Peter's message. Was it the forgiveness of sins? God does forgive us our sins, but that wasn't the message. No, Peter got up on that day of Pentecost and preached his first sermon on the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. He said, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs which God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves know, this Jesus delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. But God raised him up, having loosed the pangs of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it. The good news, the gospel, is the resurrection. If Jesus isn't resurrected from the dead, there is no gospel. There is no good news. For the word gospel means a report 
of a great victory. When a king would win a great battle over an enemy, the gospel of his victory was spread back in his kingdom. And what is this great victory? Who is the enemy? And the enemy of all mankind is death, Hades. For death had kept all mankind captive since Adam. The resurrection, the resurrection of Christ is essential to our faith. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead nearly 2,000 years ago is the gospel. It is the good news, and it is essential to our faith. Some today in this world might claim that the resurrection isn't at all that important, that it is the moral teachings of Christ that is important. But St. Paul tells the Corinthians, now if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified of God that He raised Christ, whom He did not raise if it is not true that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are of all men most to be pitied. St. Paul reminds us that the resurrection is the central fact, the central part of our faith. All the teachings of Jesus are empty without the resurrection. It is the resurrection that offers us the forgiveness of sins. It is the resurrection that enables us to live a new life in Christ, to have morality. It is the resurrection that allows us to love our enemies. Today, we don't preach the concept of, re of resurrection. We preach the reality of resurrection. For Christ risen from the dead is not simply a concept it is a reality. The resurrection of Christ is factual, historical, and foundational to our faith. The apostles lived and died for this faith. They witnessed the resurrected Christ, and they suffered greatly for it. And there is no doubt that their preaching was based on the resurrection. All of the teachings of Jesus and the apostles hinge on this one reality that Jesus is risen from the dead. St. Paul reminds the Corinthians, but in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. And tonight, we celebrate this historical reality, this fact. Tonight, we mystically join with the myrrh-bearing women and behold the empty tomb. Tonight, we proclaim to the world that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. This is the gospel. This is the best news of victory that the world has ever heard. And if someone asks you what the gospel is, tell them, Jesus is risen from the dead. For this is the gospel, the good news. Let us not be afraid to proclaim this gospel to the world. Let us boldly, like the apostles, proclaim the resurrection. Christ is risen. He is risen. Al-Masih Kam. Kam. Christos Agezidga. Christos Tensiyu. Christos is Afrstanden. Christos Aneski. Christos Enviat. Christos Poscresse. Christos Harisusitado. 
Christ is risen. Indeed is risen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, be guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us who mystically represent the cherub of the of Christ, holy of the life of our Christ, lay aside all worldly things. We assume the King of all that will be afforded by the angelic like host, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity, lay aside all worldly things. And we receive the King of all of those who be escorted by the angel of coast of the Ria, the Ria, the Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity, lay aside all worldly things. And we receive the King of all of those who be escorted by the angel of coast of the Ria, the Ria, the Ria, both now for the In that we beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross we go, Christ, the Holy Resurrection, we praise and glorify. Without our God, we ought to know O come, all you faithful, let us adore Christ, the Holy Resurrection. For lo, through the cross, your joy comes to all the world, ever blessed, Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he has endured the cross, thou seek his joy, death by death. In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, but it's worship the Holy Lord Jesus, and we sing his name. Thy cross, we adore Christ, the Holy Resurrection, we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know none other besides, and we call upon thy name. O come, all you faithful, let us adore Christ, Holy Resurrection. For lo, through the cross, his joy come into all the world. Ever blessed, the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he has endured the cross, that he has joy death by death. In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, and we sing his name. By cross, we the Lord Christ, the Holy Resurrection, we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know not what decides to call upon thy name. O come, all you faithful, let us adore Christ, Holy Resurrection. For lo, through the cross, with joy come unto all the world, ever blessed, Lord, let us sing of the resurrection. For in that we have the cross, we have destroyed death by death. In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, so it's of the Holy Lord Jesus, and the sin of sin. Thy cross, we the Lord Christ, and the Holy Resurrection, we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, we know that besides we call upon thy name. O come, all you faithful, let us adore Christ, Holy Resurrection. For lo, through the cross, with joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in the name of the cross, let us sing his joy. Death by death. Sin against your Savior, as he was your comfort, Father, have mercy on your God. With the voice of public and the fire of Christ, my Savior, for the peace of God, and have mercy on your God. The 
forgive our sins, my brother, and my sister. Forgive our brother, and forgive our brother, and forgive our brother, and forgive our brother, and Lift up your hands and behold and say, Bless you, the Lord. High priest of the Lord God, who has been the fathers of the Lord God, who has been the fathers of the Lord God, I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord God. All of you, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Our Father and Patriarch John, and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and on the ages of ages. Our president, civil authorities, and armed forces, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and on the ages of ages. For those who offer these holy gifts and for those in behalf of whom they offer them, for all here gathered together who keep this holy feast, for those each has in mind, that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and pardon and forgiveness of their sins, and especially the servants of God, Archpriest Ryan, Preetessa Gina, Shemasi Laura, Adele, Maria Elena, Gil, Joseph, Janet, Emily Claire, Donna Castia, and me, Mary Ann, Sammy, William, Elian, Nicholas, Marie, Ruth, Michael, Carol, Joe, Carolyn, Elizabeth, and her unborn child, Stephen and Anna, Myra and her unborn child, George, George, Mark, Marwan, Job, Ludmila, Dordanel, Botini, Mary Josephine, for the newly illumined servants of God, Seth, Senia, Patrick, Joanna, Lucy, Marina, Elizabeth, Arsenios, Catherine, John, Susanna, Joseph, Zachary, Panurius, Alexandra, Simon, Lucy, Lydia, Jana, Daniel, Makarios, Anastasios, for our catechumens, Prescott, Teddy, Cooper, Josephine, Michael, Katie, Grant, Luke, Eric, Daniel, for the servants of God, Matilda, Raymond, Stan, Dorothy, Ginger, the priest Joseph and family, Andrew, Irina, Natalia, Nicholas, Andrew, Andrew, Irina, Dimitri, Ludmila, Ludmila, Galina, Elena, Elena, Andre, Larissa, Kirill, Andre, Daniel, Sergei, Natalia, Oleg, Vladimir, Anna, Natalia, Maxime, Julia, Constantine, George, Gennady, Michael, Haley, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The servants of God departed this life in the hope of resurrection and the life eternal, who here and in all the world last sleep in the Lord, especially the newly departed Helen, the servants of God, God Charles, Betty, Funding, George, Pavel, Nina, Vladimir, Antonina, Nicholas, Pavel, Nikolai, Galina, Evgeny, Alexandra, Ludmila, 
Michael, Boris, Catherine, Julia, Anna, Catherine, Maria, Alexander, and all are departed in Christ. The Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. His life bearing the most faithful seed within his hand. His life bearing the same hand. He's been preparing already for the resurrection. He's been a little bit of a person desiring to all this in the death and so that he's a sacrifice for the resurrection of the Lord. This from looks upon an altar. Remember me, brothers, and celebrants. I preach to the Lord God. Pray for me, brothers. And say the Holy Spirit, Spirit descend upon me in the power of the, the, the Most High over the Shepherd. And the same Spirit serve with us all the days of our life. Remember us, Lord. Lord God, remember you in his kingdom always and ages of ages. Lord God, remember Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts thou set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter their end. Let us pray to the Lord for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God. By thy grace, that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. A Christian and into our life, stainless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Calling to remembrance are all old immaculate. Most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, Together with thine all holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another with one accord, we may confess. Trinity, 
doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God, very God, begotten not made, of what essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and had suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and ascended at the right hand of the Father. And ye shall come again with glory to judge the quick and dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one the Holy Catholic and the Catholic Church. I acknowledge on baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand upright, let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, With these blessed powers, you also master, let us all thank God, let us say, We are called. Holy are found, all holy, may purposes of thy glory, his son, all thy works, but not in the son, all who believe in him shall not perish from everlasting life. We have come and have fulfilled all the dispensation of us in life, which is the time of our day, and so great in his holy name. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Across the grave, the third day resurrection, the ascension of the heaven, the sitting at the right hand of the second of the Lord is God. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. O Lord, with the Lord, our Savior, upon that apostle, the Holy Spirit, take him up and set him up in the time. Let him have some faith in him. Let him have some faith in O Lord, who at the third hour did sit down upon that apostle, my Holy Spirit, take up the same away from us, O good one, who renew him in us, who pray unto thee. O Lord, who at the third hour did sit down upon that apostle, my Holy Spirit, take up the same away from us, O good one, who renew him in us, who pray unto thee. 
Again, we offer unto thee this rational, bloodless words, we beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth. Bless Master the Holy Word. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless Amen. Master the Holy Word. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless Amen. both Master. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Remember Amen. me as son of that to those who should partake thereof, they may bid the vigilance of soul and the forgiveness of sins, and the communion of thy Holy Spirit, and the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, and the boldness towards thee, not as the judgment or the condemnation. And again we offer unto thee this rational worship for all those in faith have gone before us to their rest. Forefathers, fathers, fathers patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially our holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the fair Tocos and ever Virgin Mary. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always Among the first, be mindful, O Lord, of our father and patriarch John, whom did thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And for those who offer these precious and holy gifts to the Lord our God, the honorable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, in every priestly monastic order of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they are remembering, and of all mankind. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. With us. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. All oh, the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord that our God, who loveth mankind, having received him upon his holy, most heavenly and ideal authors and aromas, spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, 
Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassion and love towards mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. I believe the Lord, and I confess that thou art true in Christ, the Son of the living God, who didst come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And I believe that since you are on the back of the body, and that since you are on the precious blood, wherefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and pardon my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy to partake of thy condemnation, for thy immaculate mysteries, under the remission of my sins, and under the life everlasting. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, and accept me today as a communion. For I will not speak of thy mysteries or thy enemies, neither will I give thee a kiss as a Judas. But like the thief will I confess thee, and remember you, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not unto judgment, nor unto condemnation. Be my partaking thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. God be gracious to the Son of the Lord. God be gracious to the Son of the Lord. God be gracious to the Son of the Lord. God be gracious Deacons brought here to give this awesome of my God. Master, and tell me that the 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 the
children. Nicholas, if you can have some stuff for the last one. Yeah. Hello again, I'm sorry for the possible opinion of our question. We go to the later guys. Thank you. With fear of God and faith and love, draw near. Let's 
Christ is risen from the dead. Shine, 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 in the resurrection of the Son, Christ is the new Son, the living sacrifice, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The servant of God. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him plead, let be full of his knees. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee from before his face. And unto life everlasting. Amen. Lo, this is Lo, this is touch your lips and take away your iniquities and to purge away your sins.
O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Be thou exalted, O God, above thy heavens, and the glory, and thy glory above all the earth. <coughs> Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Taken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily yeah. give thanks unto yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. A radiant and saving day has shone upon us today, O brethren, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And for this, the temple of the Lord has been adorned by various men, <laughs> For behold, many of the chosen and faithful not only have endured the exertion of the fast joyfully, but have also lighted lamps on the feast of the resurrection, eagerly having offered gifts to the King of the ages. For by the resurrection of Christ our God, all the inhabited world rejoices. Heaven descends through the radiance of the divinity. The earth is adorned. The sea is made calm. Tyrants cease. The pirates progress. The catechumens are enlightened. Enemies come to peace. The misled return. Sins are loosed. The churches are gladdened. And Christ God is glorified. And moreover, mothers with radiant embraces bring gifts to the king of the ages, not meadow blossoms, but the grace of the Spirit in the newly illumined. Wherefore, as thou art our good and philanthropic God, Accept the sacrifice and worship of us humble priests. Grant remission of offenses from our youth to our old age. Protect our hierarch, O Lord, on his honorable throne. Preserve all the clergy and people in peace and unanimity. Guard the people standing here who have been in the enjoyment of thy divine and undefiled and life-giving mysteries, and have mercy on them and keep them. By the intercessions of thine undefiled mother, of the holy apostles and of the myrrh-bearing women. For thou art he that is risen from the dead, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we send up glory, together with thine unoriginate Father and thine all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen. 
From the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs be sowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs be sowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs be sowing life. At this point, at this time, we will bless the eggs and the artos, the bread that's been offered for Pascha. And then we will come and bless your food, so don't start eating when you get out there. <laughs> We're going to come out and bless all of your baskets, so we'll come pretty quickly after everybody kisses the cross. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb be sowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb be sowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs be sowing life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Master, Lord our God, the Creator and Maker of all things, bless Thou these eggs. And preserve us in thy goodness, that as we partake of them, even so also we may be filled with thy gifts, which ungrudgingly thou, hast best thou bestowest, and with thine unspeakable goodness. For thine is the might and the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Amen. These eggs are blessed through the sprinkling of this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These eggs are blessed through the sprinkling of this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These eggs are blessed through the sprinkling of this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O God, all-powerful and Lord Almighty, who at the exodus from Israel, from Egypt, and the liberation of thy people from the bitter slavery of Pharaoh, didst command by thy servant Moses that a lamb be slain, prefiguring the lamb who, because of our deeds, was of his own will slain upon the cross, and took away the sins of the whole world, thy beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We humbly beseech thee, look down now also upon this bread, and bless and hallow it. For we, thy servants, in honor and glory and in commemoration of the glorious resurrection of thy Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have received freedom and release from the eternal slavery of the enemy and the indissoluble bonds of hell, do now offer this bread before thy majesty on this exceedingly bright, most glorious and saving day of Pascha, and count us worthy who offer this, along with those who shall kiss it and taste of it, to become partakers of thy heavenly blessing, and by thy might drive away from us every sickness and infirmity, granting health to all. For thou art the fountain of blessing and the bestower of healings, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy <laughs> Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. This our toast is sanctified by the grace of the whole. Holy Spirit, through the sprinkling of this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This our toast is sanctified by the grace of the all Holy Spirit, through the sprinkling of this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
This our toast is sanctified by the grace of the Holy Spirit through the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Be seated for a moment if you would. We want to welcome all of our visitors who are with us tonight as well, and all of those who are online. Uh, I know several people couldn't make it in person, and they're watching online tonight. And welcome to all of you. Uh, We're glad you're here. We will come and bless the baskets, and we have plenty of food to eat. Share what you have. Uh, You know, and, and we'll have a wonderful time as we break the fast together, the picnic tables are out in the side, and, uh, and some of the young men are starting in a little while to start to, uh, where's Adam, is he, already, is he already, there you are, they're going to be roasting a lamb on a spit, I believe, out there, right? And so they're going to be getting started on that here in a little bit, and for those young men who, I guess older men can too, but this old man is not sticking around for that, uh, <laughs> But uh, they're going to be up most of the night cooking that lamb for us that we'll have tomorrow at the Pascha picnic, which is after Agape Vespers, which is at 1 p.m. So we'll give you a chance to sleep in late tomorrow, except for those of you who have children who are going to get up early anyway, right? (laughs) And, uh, well, that's the way it works. Uh, We have a dog that does the same thing. So, uh, But we'll have... uh, at, at 1 o'clock, we'll come back for Agape Vespers, followed by our Pascha picnic, an Easter egg hunt for the kids, and just a wonderful time of fellowship as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. And this week, on Wednesday morning, we will have a Paschal liturgy uh, on Wednesday morning at 9.30. For those who can make it, I know not everyone can, but we'll have... a a Paschal Liturgy on Wednesday morning, and then uh, next Saturday, no, next Friday night, uh, there is an IOCC uh, fundraiser for Syria and Turkey for the earthquake relief, downtown Arabian Nights. We have information on the table by the pamphlets uh, on that if you'd like to go, and I think it would be a wonderful night. Also, next Sunday night, we have, for the men, uh, another cigars and scotch, and, and the grill is going to be going, and we're going to have a good time grilling some food and just having a wonderful time of fellowship for the men of the parish. So that's a, that's a week from tomorrow night. Or, no, tonight. What's that? It's, it's on Sunday. It is on Sunday. So... Uh, Yeah, it's going to be Sunday. And it's good to see all of you. God bless you and a happy feast of our Lord's resurrection. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. The blessing, Lord, and his mercy come upon you through divine grace and love towards mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. May he who rose from the dead, rose again from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life, Christ, our true God, the intercession of his all immaculate, blameless, holy mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, Father and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all audible apostles, of, the, of our Father, of the holy glorious and all audible, of our Father among the saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, who have shown in the ascetic life, of the glorious prophet Elias, patron of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. al Messiah come! Christ is risen! Indeed he is risen! Christos tensiu! 
Christos ist auferstanden. Christos anesti. Christos ta enviat. Christos vos crese. Christo ha resuscitado. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Glory to his holy third day resurrection. We adore his third day resurrection. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs, bestowing life. Right in the middle. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Al Messiah, come. Christ is risen. <laughs>